In this video, we want to look at adding or subtracting polynomials. So it's quite a basic uh, concept, but just wanted to throw it in there for uh, completeness sake. So let's say we've got something like um, x to the 4 take away 3x squared plus 17. And I'm going to add that to another polynomial, uh, let's say uh, 2x squared um, minus 3x cubed plus 7x um, minus 2. Okay, so let's say I'm just going to add these two polynomials together. Then I would want to look for the largest powers first. Let's do that. So we've got x to the 4. We've got no other x to the 4s, so we're going to have x to the 4 left over. So that deals with that one. Then we, let's see if we've got any cubes. So we've got no cubes there. We've got one of them there. So it's at plus minus 3x cubed. So we're just going to write minus 3x cubed. So that deals with that one there. Uh, let's have a look for squareds. So we've got minus 3x squared and we've got a plus 2x squared there. So that's going to be minus x squared, minus 1x squared. So we get rid of those two. Then uh, we're going to have linear terms, so let's look for x, singular x's. There's only one there, so we've got 7x, so that's going to be plus 7x. So we can cross through that one. And then finally, we've got 17 and take away 2, so that's 15. Okay, And that is us combining these two fractions together by adding them. Let's come up with another one, this time subtraction. Um, let's do something like uh, 3x to the 7, take away 2x plus 18x squared. And we're going to take away um, 4x uh, minus 11x squared minus um, 2. Okay, something like that. So first of all, look for the highest power. So in this case, it's the 7. So 3x to the 7. Then we're going to look for 6s. There's no x to the 6. There's no x to the 5. There's no x to the 4. There's no x to the 3. So the next largest power is x to the 2, so x squared. We've got two of those. We've got 18x squared. Take away minus 11x squared. So that would be 18x squared plus 11x squared. So that's 29x squared. So they can go. Then look for x's, singular x's. We've got minus 2x. Take away 4x. So that's minus 6x. Get rid of those. And then finally, looking for uh, constant terms. Um, so we've got minus, or so take away minus 2. So that's plus 2 on the end. And that deals with the final term. Okay, So that is how we can add and subtract polynomials. You don't have to have them appearing in a particular order, but personally I like to go from the largest power of x down to the smallest, and I know that other people prefer going in the opposite order. Doesn't matter whatsoever. Okay, But that's how you can do it.